I have a very interesting and um, dramatic story from uh, my experience at the Florida Public Elementary School when I first started there. Um, I was walking in the hallway toward a class and this young employee uh, was walking toward me and she said hello and and she was in tears. Um, she was quite young. She was African American. She was very polite, very humble. And she said some teacher uh, was accusing her of going in the teacher's cabinet. And this uh, young employee was so upset. You know, she said she told the teacher, uh, "I'm not a thief. You know, I needed something for the student, and and I knew it was in there." And Anyway, um, this young woman was uh, very sensitive, and uh, I saw her again another day, and and she said, um, she told me that she was Muslim, and she used to, when she first started working there, she used to, of course, um, covered her her head, you know, and her neck in the typical Islamic way. And um, she she dressed like that for quite a while, but um, there were other employees that were hassling her and saying, "Oh, you know, what do you wear that for? You know, these are modern times. You shouldn't wear that. It doesn't look good. You know, stop wearing that." And they were pressuring her so much, and I guess it's because she's young and she's sensitive. You know, she stopped wearing it, and and I said to her, "But." But I cover uh, my my head, and um, how come they don't bother me about it? And she said, because you're old, and they think that you just do it because you're you're old fashioned. So, you know, I so little by little by little, she just started looking more and more like them, and dressing more and more like them, and even wearing very daring things and um, she had told me that her her father is an imam you know that's a uh, Muslim leader the leader of the prayer the leader of the their congregation and I'm thinking that you know when slaves were were brought to the United States uh, so long ago um, some of the things they they did to the slaves were they changed their names. Um, it was no more an, uh, an African name. And they also pressured them to change their religion. It's like it's like some people talk about diversity, but the only the only diversity they want is, the color of your skin and but they want you to change everything else the way you dress and and, and your name and 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 the, you know the way you speak and, and your language uh, um, this this particular school I was in they seem to pride themselves and they have it on signs and posters uh, in different places that they have great diversity there but the only the only people there basically are white Christians and black Christians and Hispanic Christians now how is that diversity I mean diversity means everything the culture and language and and the clothing you wear and and, and you know your personality and I I mean diverse is diverse but they want you to, it seems, they want you to assimilate as much as possible. And, you know, you can't change your skin color, so I guess they'll, they'll tolerate that. But think about what happened uh, with this young employee. Um, she can't dress the way uh, her family has dressed for, for, I don't know, maybe hundreds of years. And her father's a leader. And all of a sudden she can't she can't dress like that and I mean I, I just I find this I find this horrendous and especially 
can't they see that she's that she's a sensitive type and is that why they're like taking advantage of her sensitivity pressuring her to change the way what they want her to change into why should she be treated like the slaves were treated so long ago we're in 2021 so i'm i mean think about this i there's so many things in you know, when I'm home here and, and sheltered in my environment, you know, and I have the nice dog and I have the nature and, you know, I listen to educational videos, you know, I'm I'm kind of uh, separated from all this ugliness. But look what I did. I went out for three months, which was a total of 39 days, you know, taking account for, uh, you know, the, the spring break and, and the weekends, etc., I went out for that short period of time and look at look at all the, the ugly things that I find out. And we can't seem to find out these things by watching the news. Uh, the news has its own problems. They're trying to please uh, their sponsors, you know. They're not telling us everything. So, you know, get out, get out of your... Uh, your house as much as you can and see what's going on in the world and try to do something about it unfortunately what can I do about it but but let people know what's going on and and think about this you know we're some people are still treating African Americans like they treated the slaves back then back then they want them to change their religion change the way they dress change everything what else can I say?